Welcome back. Um, for this video, I guess I want to show some tips, some tricks, and just give useful information if you're going to work on your own heads, or if, or if you're going to have somebody else and pay somebody else to port your heads and try to get some extra power out of your uh, out of your um, I don't know V8. So. Uh, let me show so show you some stuff that can help you. Okay. Well, when it comes to valve jabs, you want to put the contact angle as close to the margin as possible. So let me finish doing this off camera. I'll come back. So you get some get some sharpie, something like that, right? You put it on the on the on the valve you put it inside and then you just turn it around and it's kind of hard to do one-handed but let's see if I can do it all right turn the valve and it'll give you an idea where the valve sits on the valve seat So the valve sits there. This is the bottom cut. There's the top one. And right there with no Sharpie is the margin. And you want to move this as close to the margin as possible. It's already pretty close. You can leave it like that. But if you're experimenting, you're going to want to move it further down and make this as thin as you know, as thin as you can, within reason, obviously. So that's the stock valve seat. Oops, wrong one right there. That's the stock one, and I'm gonna do it on one of these valve seats that I've that I've been working on. There we go. So here's one of the seats I've been working on. Put the valve in. And I'll do this off camera, but you know, I can at least show you, right? You turn the valve. So, let me take this valve out. And it is slightly thinner, closer to the margin closer to the margin right there and so you know, that's something that you should look for if you're taking your heads in that whoever's doing the work the valve job or if you're doing it yourself you're moving you're moving the where the valve sits closer to the margin because then it gives you, let's say it's a 202 like this, it gives you, it gives you the full advantage of a 202 valve over a 194. Instead of most of it, you get the full advantage of the 202 valve. So that's one, one tip you can use. So another tip I can give is between the different ways of sanding. On the left with the sanding rolls, in my hand with a black and decker really like that and then also with uh, something like a this this is also black and decker but there we go now it's in focus um something like this for a dremel tool um sanding roll or or that and really the one I end up preferring is is this one because it fits in easily into your intake and even in here you know it fits without too much trouble you just you know break it in on your intake you you know do stuff you clean up <coughs> let's say you're cleaning up because it's dirty and you decide you want to try to pour your heads 
you break it in and then once you've done that then you can go into your exhaust and so that's another thing is right here this attachment this attachment on on an impact wrench impact wrench no impact gun impact wrench i don't know these i'm like this and this impact um the best of the three and then the other two are depending right the dremel tool if you're just starting out this one as you move up and this one here on my drill i say it's the last one it's really for niche places you can't get to and it seems to be able to get to it but that's one more uh, tip another tip that i can give is like let's see can i get so this is this is the side that flows the majority of your of your air fuel mixture right here on the cylinder wall side right here and this is center of cylinder and even on this set of small block Chevy heads these are set of flow decks that I'm working on you have to raise the roof on the center of the cylinder side let's see the stock side the stock side right here this is this is higher than this side yeah I need a better light this you got to raise the roof you got to remove quite a bit of material there and even then you can only go so much is the spring spring pocket the spring seat whatever it's called is right real close to here so here's Here's the high flow side, the low flow side, but you still have to raise the roof on some of these. Maybe not on all, but there's still some some heads. These are aluminum heads that you have to raise the roof. So just be mindful of that. Is that you still have to raise the roof on some aluminum heads definitely on these flow techs so hit that like button hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching